Do I look like a 12 year old boy right now? A little bit? Okay, that's fine. You guys know that it's me, Caroline, his wife, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, um, all right, well, we, we don't really even need to touch on what's going on in the world right now because y'all are living it, we're all living it, um, but we figured we would take advantage of, you know, having more downtime and stuff and really get back into this vlog and uh, even try to commit to doing daily vlogs. Um, just, uh, you know, people have something to watch and it gives us something to do too and... Uh, makes us committed to get more content out there. It's easy for me to say that we're committing to daily vlogs because I literally do nothing um, in terms of the editing process, but um, we'll see what happens. You're the comic relief. Yeah, I'm the comic relief. I'm the, the subject. I'm uh, what the people want to see, right? Great. Um, so today on tap, we just got a lift uh, Saturday, usually Saturday, a speed endurance Saturday. Um, but uh, we knew in advance that the weather was going to be really cold today. It's, it looks nice out, but uh, it's really cold. So we did that workout yesterday. Today we're just lifting. So we're going to take you in the gym. Uh, so I'm going to go for a jog to get warm, warmed up. These are air quotes, warmed up um, for this lift. Anyways, I'm gonna go jog now, so. No, it's not too bad. Oh, that wind is brisk. I might need a jacket. Okay, and yeah, I am gonna go uh, I think I might row actually on the rower so you can go to the washroom and then head out there and start rowing waiting for her to come back and then we have our respective lifts um, I think I have some bench press um, uh, front squats and stuff like that so yeah let's get today started all right so depending on where you're located in Canada or the United States or other places in the world, but I don't think we have any subscribers from out there. Um, you kind of already know that everything's shut down um, in relation to like most of universities and sports. So we've had to actually drive around London a lot and go to high school tracks to get some practices in. Um, and some people might be saying, oh yeah, that's not that big of a deal, but it's only like five degrees in London. That's pretty cold. Um, and there's no real good facilities in London that's not associated with the university. But yeah, I won't be touching pole vault for a while for the foreseeable future. Um, and... Yeah, won't be touching any blocks because we don't have any blocks right now. So, yeah, but I'm going to start rowing um, and then we'll kind of take you through the lift, answer some questions, and yeah. So today I got cleans, squats, I don't remember the other things actually, I just remember the main stuff. So one of the questions that we received, um, I think this one came from a comment on our channel, um, and it was how many days a week do you lift? Um, I lift three days a week, you lift three days a week, you lift three days a week. Once we're in the competitive season and we're um, competing on Saturdays, this turns into twice a week, just a Tuesday, Thursday, and then competing on the Saturday. So This is a women's bar, by the way, um, so it's 125 pounds, but um, the main difference is that it's thinner, so I can actually like rip it, and it's pretty life-changing, so you have access to one, would highly recommend. So 
today's workout, I have five sets of two of these. And so obviously because I'm only doing two reps, we're making them pretty heavy. So if uh, you're in isolation right now and you're not able to strength train, a good replacement for this exercise, hang or power cleans, um, might be an exercise that we don't actually know the name of, so I'm just going to show you. But um, you start on your knees, you're going to jump to your feet, and then as soon as you're on your feet, you're going to jump in the air. That's a good dynamic movement. Um, you might want to do more reps than what I'm doing right now. Um, but it could be a good one for you, just make sure you're somewhere where the ceiling's are high up. Alright, so the next question uh, that somebody asked on the channel, um, like three weeks ago, uh, is what's the process of turning pro slash finding a coach and getting sponsors um, so it's a little bit different up in Canada um, most clubs or coaches are just associated with the university so if you went to university you usually stay with that coach for outdoor season um, we don't have like a collegiate outdoor season so you just transfer into like club stuff and then next is how to find a sponsor your guess is as good as mine let us know yeah so neither of us have had like a like clothing sponsor like I'm luckily that I work at Canadian Tire Hyde Park and they allow me to train a little bit more and I'm the brand ambassador the brand ambassador there uh, but as for like uh, professional compete under like Nike or Adidas or something no clue so yeah all right so my first superset today is bench press um, cow crunches and yoga block hip internal rotation um, so in the bench I'm just doing three sets of four three two so one set at four reps and then three reps and then two reps um, so just like working on that power, obviously if you don't have a bench press at home, um, simple uh, push-ups would work or clap push-ups if you're trying to go for explosiveness or put a backpack on with some books in it or something, add some weight to it um, or put your feet up in like incline or decline push-ups. So yeah, just a bunch of variations of push-ups. So a good replacement for a body row would be a good old fashioned single arm um, dumbbell row, but if you don't have access to dumbbells, which I'm assuming you don't, um, you can use something from around the house that you can actually grip. This could be just like even filling like a, a grocery bag up with books or something or like some type of purse. Um, just hang yourself over a couch, bed, and row. Okay, so superset with uh, the row, I actually have a thrust. Um, it's a little bit lighter because we're um, trying to recruit the glute a little bit more in this exercise than a usual thrust, so that's why my knees are going to be a little bit pointed out, my feet are a little bit wider. Um, at home, a good replacement would just be finding a heavy object, putting it on um, your pelvic region. Um, that's an obvious one, but if you know everything in the house would be kind of like too awkward to do that with if you don't have the right object. Um, you could do a single leg thrust to make it a little bit more challenging. Alright, so next, Taylor has front squats and I'm going to have back squats. So a replacement for this, if you're at home right now, um, would be obviously you can just squat body weight. You can throw a backpack on with um, some books in it to make it a little bit heavier. Uh, maybe go a little bit lower than you usually would. Um, to make it more difficult because you're obviously going to have less weight. Um, another alternative is a single leg squat um, to tap. So um, single leg squat and you're just going down maybe to your couch or to your bed. Um, once you feel your butt on it, you come back up. Um, so there's lots of different variations you can do at home um, and different ways to make it more challenging.
extensions um, with hamstring curls using, using this bench attachment that we have. Um, so a good replacement for a quad extension might be like a wall sit, um, at least for the purpose why I do them. Like I do them to help with my patellar tendon um, and wall sits are also really good for that and it's also a good like quad burner as is this. Um, and then for the hamstring curls that I'm going to do after this, a good replacement if you're isolating with somebody else would be Nordics. Those are always your best bet when it comes to bulletproofing your hamstring. Uh, but if you're isolating alone, you can find something to wedge your feet under so you can still do Nordics or you can do like walkouts. Um, I can't think of any other hamstring exercises. So somebody asked, what's your favorite meal to make? Um, I'm going to say dinner, obviously, because you can put like the most effort into it. Um, and uh, I've been really enjoying making pasta, like fresh pasta. So probably that right now it does take a little bit of time but it's like really like rewarding at the end um so yeah probably pasta like a meat sauce so that's mine carol what's yours well, i don't know what you're your favorite about. dinner to make oh um i'm not gonna front on camera i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i do not make a single meal that occurs in this house i'm very fortunate um, it's not that I'm a bad cook, it's just that Taylor's better, so usually he takes over and I just sit at the breakfast bar and, <laughs> and anticipate. <laughs> um, but my favorite meal that you make would probably be um, hamburgers. He makes a really good patty. Uh, he makes really good curry. Vegetarian. Oh, it's hard to have a favorite didn't answer that question <laughs> one bit not what one bit what did you say i said pasta oh.